This is the time Ron Artest got in Pat Riley's face. Ron Artest strong enough to finish even with the foul. Now having words with Heat assistant coach Keith Askins. And Butler hammered out of bounds by Artest. That should be. And it is a flagrant foul. That should be a flagrant foul. Exactly right. Now having words with Heat assistant coach Keith Askins. Wrong guy to pick with is Artest. I mean, he came over there twice. You know, that's, uh, that's who he is. You know, he's a hell of a player, but he's got to get that under control. No disrespect to Pat Riley. Uh, he's the coach of the Knicks, and I always respected him, so there's no disrespect to him. But, uh, I mean, it's our team against his team, so I felt I could talk a little bit of trash. I respect his hard work and hard play, but he need to just cool that shit out. Because ain't nobody buying it, man. Just play around. The technical foul is called on Butler. And Heath coach Pat Riley expresses his opinion on that call. Artest then gets in Riley's face, and the two get into it. Curiously, no technicals were given to the Pacer player. Artest at it again. He pushes Butler out of bounds, gets a flagrant foul there. Later in the fourth, Artest scores and gets fouled, and he walks to the Miami bench, flexing his muscles deliberately, trying to get them upset our test with a technical foul now after this incident he would shoot his free throw after calming down but after that he gives two fingers to the miami crowd totally unnecessary behavior by our test the league will have something to say about that but ron our test is the guy there he's a defensive player he's playing great on the offensive end the reason he doesn't make the all-star team is because of his behavior all right so he he pretty much uh, took himself out of the All-Star right. running because of those on-field, uh, on-court activities. Now let's look at exactly what happened on Monday night. Going up against uh, an opposing coach, I mean, has anybody ever done anything like that besides uh, Dennis Rodman <laughs> once in a while? Uh, I can't remember seeing anything like this. And, you know, I have three words right now for Ron Artest. Out of control. This guy thinks that rules don't apply to him. He thinks he can do whatever he wants because all of a sudden he's got this reputation of being such a tough guy and being one of the best defensive players in the league and an intimidator. He's taking it too far. He's trying to live up to this image that's being created for him right now. And he's way crossing the line by getting in Pat Riley's face, then Keith, Keith Askins, and then giving the double middle finger salute to the fans in Miami. This guy, the league has to come down hard on him, set a precedence, because he is out of control right now. And I, I would not be surprised to see five or six game suspension. He got a three game suspension for the camera incident. I think what this is far worse because it is terrible for the NBA. It's horrible for their image. It's horrible for what people at home are watching. This incident was a year before the legendary Malice in the Palace brawl. What's up, D-Ball Vault fans? So I just want to let you know we're coming out with these hats. It's 100% cotton, high quality hat. So if you guys want to support the channel, there'll be a link in the description that you can uh, go purchase the hat. Make basketball great again.